Hi, it's Hayley from Parallel Coaching and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what you can expect on your Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam. Now, people that I've spoken to in the past that have failed their exam first time, the Level 3 Anatomy one, or they, they've maybe had a couple of attempts, it's because they've not known what to expect on their exam. And that's because they've got to a point where they've assumed it's going to look a certain way, whereas actually, in matter of fact, the exam itself is going to be structured in a way that has seven different modules within it. But those seven, quest those seven modules are going to appear in a randomised order order. So you're not going to have five questions on heart and circulatory system and then five on musculoskeletal. They're all going to be randomized, but you can expect between five and eight questions for each of these following seven modules. So you need to direct your revision as much as possible towards covering all of these seven. Now I'm going to go through and tell you what those seven are. You've got the heart and circulatory system, you've got the musculoskeletal system, and that includes sliding filament theory as well. Then you've got the major muscles and locations. So this is understanding the origins and insertions of all of those lovely muscles. Posture and core stability. So about knowing um, how the posture is for the spine and also the muscles for core stability. And then the nervous system. That also includes PNF stretching as well. Then you've got endocrine system, which includes all of your hormones and the response for those. And then the energy systems as well so that's seven different modules that you need to be able to remember and then when you get in the exam and you find that question you want to be able to put that question into each of the filing systems so you'll have a filing system in your brain for each of these modules and you need to be able to know where what filing system to go to get it from so my suggestion for you is is that when you get in the exam and you're reading the question is to first decide which of these modules that that question comes from and it will help you start to be able to answer and retrieve the answer to that question. Now, the page I'm on at the moment is just our revision mastery series. Our revision mastery series is designed to help you pass your level three anatomy and physiology first time because it's got all of your videos for each of those modules we were discussing and then you can then download cheat sheets to help you check whether you've learned that okay and then you can download that video to audio and to video so you can listen to it when you don't have wi-fi don't have internet available with you which is fantastic if you're out walking so that is our original mastery series and that is designed to help people who feel a little bit underconfident or they feel like they're just not learning very well from a manual that's what the revision mastery series is designed to help you feel fully prepared ready for your exam so i hope this has helped you feel like you've got an understanding of the structure of sort of what to expect on that exam day if you have any questions please pop a little comment below and i will see you on the other side have a great day